All right, how's everybody doing? Um, I'm just going to do a real quick review of the phase converter, power line phase converter, rotary phase converter that I built. Um, I bought the kit to do it. Um, and then, then I bought a Baldor 15 horsepower motor to go with it. Uh, I'll turn it on real quick. It's pretty quiet. Um, I don't always work in this shop. Um, so the noise doesn't bother me when I'm in here. Um, this is my only machine in here that I'll keep in here. It's just my sander. And it's actually the reason why I am upgrading. Um, so that's a 15 horsepower Super E, oh, I don't even know what the name of it is to be honest with you, um, three phase motor paired with the 15 horsepower kit. Um, ignore the fact that the wiring is exposed, normally there is a plate covering the entire thing. The cover didn't come with the motor when I got it, so um, excuse that. Um, I have a three phase outlet up there on the wall for any three phase machines that I buy. I bring them in here first. Um, there's a three phase bandsaw and I plug them into that outlet. Um, another thing that I do want to say that I should have said at the start of the video is I am not an electrician. Um, some of the things that you're going to see are not to code and I'm sure an electrician would yell at me, but, um, for my case, it works. Um, just giving you an overview of what I did, not trying to teach anybody anything. But I really like this phase converter, I like the price of the phase converter. Um, so I actually went and bought a 25 horsepower um, Baldor motor to run this sander, and I bought the 25, 25 horsepower kit. This is how it comes, all wires and ends are already done for you. Um, got a bag of um, supplies there, and then it comes with some directions. Um, this is for the 25 horsepower kit, obviously. Um, and then I'll take you into the shop where I have the, excuse the noise, line run underground into the main woodworking shop, which is an absolute mess right now, um, just because I moved a vanity that I was working on out. So I've got two three-phase outlets there, and then I've got 220 lines, um, single-phase 220 run all throughout this shop here. But this Moac joiner is three-phase, the planer is three-phase, the radial arm saw is also three phase. Everything else in here is single phase 220 or single phase 110. I'll do a shop overview at a later date, but um, that's not what this video is about. So back to the phase converter. So as I was saying, I really do like the kit. I like what it comes with. And uh, I like how easy it is to assemble. Um, I live in Illinois, and I believe that they are shipped out of Michigan. Um, I ordered that one over a year ago, and it showed up, I think, within a day and a half. Um, and I ordered the 25 horsepower kit on let's see what's today today's tuesday i ordered that on sunday afternoon i think it was actually closer to dinner time and it was sitting on my front porch this morning so shipping is great um the seller is punctual with responding um i reached out and asked him a question about this 15 horsepower kit and just was curious if i could upgrade this to work with the 25 horsepower motor that I have here. Um, and he said that you'd basically be replacing all of the parts inside of it. 
so you might as well just start over. So I am selling this phase converter. Um, if anybody is local to Illinois, I'm not going to ship it just because that motor weighs a ton. Um, so I can help you load. Um, I've got a skid steer here, and I can lift the motor up into the back of your pickup. Um, this is going to get all disconnected. The only thing that you're going to need is some wire to hook it up from the box to an outlet and from the box down to the motor. So, um, if you have any questions about the phase converter, if you're just interested in buying a kit yourself, if you're not local to me and you're not going to come pick this one up, um, feel free to reach out. I don't know a whole lot about them. Um, I know enough to be able to put it together and I made the first one work, so hopefully I can make the next one work um, because it's got to run this sander and I've got a couple of big jobs that I need this sander for. Uh, just a real quick overview. This is the vanity that I am also posting. Just a quick video on that I built. Um, I did not do a build video on this, but um, I'll post an overview just talking about that soon. But I need that sander for a bunch of interior and exterior doors that I'm going to be making. Um, and I need to put that phase converter, the new one, together today and get the old one out. I'm trying to get some money back because... Uh, as we all know, if you're watching this video, phase converters are not cheap. I believe I had, uh, I got that motor down there um, for a good deal. And then the 15 horsepower kit, I think was a couple hundred bucks. I don't remember what it was at the time. So um, all I know is that I picked, all I can remember is that I picked this 25 horsepower motor up for 300 bucks earlier this week, and this 25 horsepower kit was like 500 bucks, and I think after taxes and shipping, it was 560. So, uh, in my eyes, it's worth it. I thought about going through Phoenix Phase Converters or American Rotary, but. I would have been in the thousands of dollars range to have something drop to my doorstep and I would still have to do a decent amount of wiring. So anyways, ignore the mess. Um, hopefully this video helps some steer somebody in the right direction to building their own. Um, it's really not that difficult if you just follow the directions and uh, the seller, again, pretty punctual about responding. So I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be shy. Um, to reach out and ask him any questions. One other thing that I do want to mention is I have two sub panels in this um, shop, garage, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the one that it used to be on. I had it on a 50 amp breaker uh, in this place, two pole. Uh, but because I'm running a larger unit now and need more power, I ran another um, sub panel. Sorry, ladders are in the way. Um, and I have it currently on a uh, 60 amp breaker just because I was going to try to run that sander on here on this setup, but I'm not even going to bother trying just upgrading. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, reach out. Let me know if you're local to Illinois and you want to pick this thing up. The current date is, actually, I don't know what the current date is. Is it March 25th, 2024? Um, so, if you're interested, reach out, uh, or if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.